my name is Lisa and I am designing today for papermaze.co.uk. I've been sent this really, really lovely, I can't take them up, collection of papers from Cartabella. It's so nice. I do get to pick my own things what I work with from Paper Maze and um, there's just always so many nice things to choose from. Love this collection and I thought it would be really, really good to work with. Um, from our trip it's called pack your bags the quality is so nice it's really thick paper really nice everything is double-sided and I'll just give you a quick look at what I've got um, I've got a tw everything's 12 by 12 I've got this set of stickers which I love as you can see it's absolutely perfect for anything travel related I do love this kind of papers as well the kind of um, journal card papers that you can cut up. I've also selected this one here and this one here as well. We are just back from a US trip. We've been um, on a road trip. So this is going to be perfect. This one you can cut into strips. And I've just got so many ideas. So I'm going to show you something in just a sec that I made before we went and that's what's actually given me the idea for this project today. I didn't choose all the papers, there are other papers as well but I just selected the ones that I thought I would be most likely to use and um, I had ideas already and now I've just got this new idea. So before we left I made this book um, for Savannah. Funnily enough that was also a video for Paper Maze. I will link that video up below for you and it's one of these types of books that I really love to make. It's kind of what I call hickledy pickledy. Um, definitely not uniformed. There's bits sticking out all over the place. I'm yet to do my photos. I will be doing them next week. It's been, been a bit crazy since we've been back. So let me know if you would like to see the finished book with the photographs and the journaling and I can possibly do a video on that if anyone's interested. So that was the type of book I've made. Now there were lots of elements to the trip and the Savannah was literally just um, a day, a full day of the trip actually. There were so many other, we were away for nearly four weeks, so there were so, lots of other parts. And seeing this here, the thought of doing a great big um, mini book like this for a four week trip seems really overwhelming and then I just thought this morning from looking at these papers that actually breaking it into lots of parts would really help me and also make it more enjoyable. Um, so I'm actually just going to do the travel part today. This, These papers are really geared up for travel as you can see. So I've just gone through with my little sprocket printer and I've printed off all the photos from the actual travel day of travelling out to the States and uh, most of them have got a little story to go with them so um, I thought that would be really fun and then what I plan to do is have the books more or less the same size and then I would have a whole booklet of mini books to make one huge super mini book um, so that's the plan and um, I do seem to work better this way to start with I'm just going to take out these pages here which are the cutting out ones I do want one as cover though as well. Oh, I'll take that one out as well. I quite like this one as my travel cover, so I think I will go with this. Actually, this really is perfect for the travel cover um, as it's got the map inside. I absolutely love that. I think I might just simply use it, fold it in half and let that be the cover and just cut it down. Let's see what I've got on here which could also that could be quite good on the front um, I quite like I might do the itinerary just inside actually right. seeing as this is the beginning I'm gonna go with the world map I think and pop that on the front right. I've trimmed the paper down I've been giving this some thought it doesn't have to be the same size because I like things hickledy pickledy it is slightly larger I have got quite a lot of photos I'm going to use the postcard but stick it that way there's nothing to say that it has to be the correct way, although I do quite like that. Now I'm going to go with that. Um, I have been hacking away at my papers. I've got that there because I'm not sure which ones I want. And I've basically gone through the other um, die cut papers with all the cards and I've just literally cut off the exact ones that I'm wanting to use. 
So I might actually, oh, I don't want to cover up the postcard. Could pop that one on the back actually and cut that one out. I think that's what I'm going to do. And then I can start working um, on the inside. I've decided now looking at this, I want the travel with me on the front. So I'm going to cut that one out. I do next. often find that actually, I kind of think I've got my project planned in my head and then it comes to actually doing it and my mind's just kind of jumping all over the place. I've suddenly got more ideas or I just see something else and think, oh, actually, I can do that differently. Um, I do like that. I want it on there, though, and I think that's going to be the only way it's going to work. I wanted to keep that, so that's why I've stuck the postcard slightly lower. I do quite like that as well. Um, actually, I haven't looked at the stickers yet. Just run double-sided sticky tape all the way across. And let's have the travel with me like that. And then I can trim it either end. My cover so far, I'm not stressing that it's not done or that I've kind of come to a bit of a block with that one. I'm going to continue because that's quite normal for me how I work and I often come back to things. So this is the opening pages and I'm now wanting to add some more pages. Of the other pages that I've got left over and these will be my internal pages and then I can just trim them so that I want them at different sizes and that's how I'm going to work this pages that I've folded. I've also got this one left over from the bottom of the cover um, so that also can be used and that basically then gives me um, if I cut them actually some of them I might even get three out of so I have got a fair few pages. What I'm going to do now is actually go through and mark off where I want to trim them. So I'm happy with the order I've got some higher than the other they're all a bit hickledy pickledy um, it does feel rather chunky at the moment, so I am actually going to go through and cut some of these down just so I don't have such a wide and There we breath. have it. I've trimmed everything off that I need to trim, and I've got everything positioned inside at the level I want it. So some bits are sticking out, some bits aren't, some bits are smaller, some bits are larger. And I'm now to stick it all together. I'm going to use my great big staple gun. I'm going to start with one in the middle that way and I've actually used coloured staples so they're blue and green and that holds it all together really now nice. I'm going to go through and add the other journal cards and start adding all the other bits and pieces. I've decided to use some vellum. Um, I really love the background but it's almost a little bit too busy um, when I've got something on top so I've decided to have the vellum behind it just to give it a bit of a frosted look and it almost kind of glazes it out just slight. I folded that one in half and I'm going to have the travel itinerary on the front there and I think I'll add adventure. Actually let's have we're going places. I'm also going to use this sticker at the top here. Um, I'll leave the journaling and the photos till afterwards. It's just easier to go through this way. to be adding this photo here but I really I've decided to use this photo I'm just going to be sticking the top part this is one of those pages it's just a half page so I'm going to overlap that stick like, like that but because obviously it's nicely um, double-sided I'm actually going to print my journaling off and have the journaling below on that page and then I'm going to pop the photo up there. To use this one in the middle there um, I quite like the cards with all the different quotes and things. That's quite fun. And then I'm going to do a bit of storytelling on this side. I've got um, a whole load of photos um, from when we were in the lounge, the number one lounge. So I'm actually going to do something about those. I've got a piece of this strip here and that is actually going to become a pocket. I'm going to trim that down and I'm just going to stick the very base of it down on here. And I should be able to do that here as well and then I can slot the little photos inside because there's quite a few of them I just think it will look a bit nicer that I'm way. I'm going to leave this side here for some journaling. This card here, I'm actually going to cut this out actually let's cut it out properly, usually I cut everything with a border I'm going to cut this one out properly and stick this just inside the page so I'm just going to stick this side on here in the middle. Overlap slightly, but again, because they're all nicely double-sided, that actually just adds to the look. 
and that will be a good space for me to do some journaling as well. This is a split page here and um, I've got some plain photos from the plane. Doing a similar kind of thing. I've actually just put the tape on the bottom there. I'm just going to stick the bottom so it overlaps on the page like that. I might then do the same on the back to cover up that. I think that will look better. I like the Let's Go stickers. I'm going to attach them. Just about get away with that one. I've actually got this card here which will attach to the back really nicely so I'm going to do that to cover up the back of the photo. And that is almost a perfect fit, it's worked out really really well. Something else I love doing when I'm making a mini book is really working on the contrasts. This yellow is just so perfect against the green, I love that. I've got a um, double piece of vellum I've popped down and I'm just going to add, there's a card here that I don't plan to use, so I'm going to use the reverse of that. Our plain food. This is a text um, to my mum. She's so gullible, I'm always winding her up. So that's a story that I want to tell. Um, it was a text from the plane. So I've stuck all the photos into the book. I've also been and made dinner, um, cleared up and had my nails done. Um, so I've got different coloured nails now. Actually matches really nicely. Um, now I'm going on to the wording. I have um, got, I've journaled in the front there, but the rest of the book I'm actually going to be using typed wording this time. I'm just simply um, typing it out onto Word and then trimming it down to size so it's really straightforward. So I'm going to be cutting out these little strips. They're going to go on the front. And then the larger pieces, um, for example, I will cut that to size and then I can um, just stick it all in the book. So it's really straightforward to do, quite a nice way to journal. And obviously you can download free fonts. Um, sometimes I use fontface.com. Um, I'll link it up below, but it's a really nice way actually to use. You can download loads of different free fonts um, and then you can just change the font to suit whatever style you want. And now I've got the finished mini book to share with you. I've been busy sticking in all the journaling, adding a few extra stickers. So I'm going to give you a little show around my travel with me mini book so um, this is the London to Atlanta Atlanta to Chattanooga part of our travels Um you've obviously seen this bit already and like I said I've just gone through sticking in the journaling and I've gone around a few places with a black um, journal pen I do like to do that as you can see here it just helps it stand out so much clearer as always um, with my mini books I love bits that kind of stick out and it just adds so much more interest to a mini book. I'm really happy with this page with the pockets and the photos. I think that's really sweet. I've got journaling on that side. Again, you can really see here how that journaling stands out on that really busy page. So I'm pleased with that one as well. Got my photos there. Again, that just adds a different kind of look to a page. It just keeps it all really interesting. Love the contrasts there, got the same here, a bit of journaling. Um, also as well, I tend to find that I keep my pages really busy and yet when I look at other people's mini books, I really love the more simple ones. So I've tried to take that on board a little bit more with this mini book and I haven't felt the need to over um, embellish or fill each page I like this one here where we've got this page, we've then got this top page and then this page underneath. Again, I just really love that feeling how nothing is regimented, it's all just all over the place and I really do like that with a mini book. But yeah, I've kept things simple this time and I really like that. The papers are beautiful and they are very busy, so to be honest, you don't need to add loads. For example, I would never usually leave an empty page, but I really, really like that. I love just the wording, the little pictures. It's all just so perfect. I really do love this paper collection. That's our lovely view of the um, Atlanta skyline. Amazing, isn't it? <laughs> so I've got the story there about what we didn't get to see, but we'd wanted another one that's hickledy-pickledy there. I've used more die cuts, I've used carried on using the vellum. You could also, if you've other, got other bits and pieces like boarding cards, you could add those as well. Um, I printed mine off at home on A4 paper, so we've got those as boarding passes um, 
but I do miss the old ones. It's a bit of a shame sometimes they make nice travelling souvenirs. I do have the menus actually from on board, so I could add those. Again, I haven't gone crazy with adding loads of bits and pieces, but I do really like this mini book and how it's turned out. To me, it's really interesting to look through and really fun. And that's the mini book. So I'm really pleased with that and it now goes nicely with my Savannah one and I'm just going to keep them. And then I need to maybe find a traveler's notebook um, cover or something like that because I just think when I've got quite a few of these, I think it's going to make a really, really special kind of mini book series. I'm really pleased with that. Please do leave me a comment and let me know if you'd be interested in seeing this finished one. I do need to print the photos off and journal. Um, let me know, are you a mini book maker? Do you enjoy making mini books? Does this kind of thing appeal to you? I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching. I will link up these beautiful papers below that I've used. And um, I really am pleased with my nails matching. They do look good, don't they? So um, thanks again and I'll see you really soon. Bye!